Hey guys, welcome to another episode of F1 2021, my team career mode on F1 2021 here on the Chesnoy Plays channel. If you want to enjoy today's episode, as ever, please do hit the video with a thumbs up and subscribe to this Chesnoy Plays channel so you don't miss out on any more. If you want to see the streams in their entirety, rather than these edited highlights, then there's a link down below to the Twitch channel where you can go across and follow and you can see all the uh, all the all the streams in their full three four hour entirety uh, of course if you're interested in the FIFA content then there's a link down below as well to the main Chesnoy gaming channel uh, I'm not going to delay any more than that really getting into this one thumbs up subscribe hopefully you enjoy and it's time for the Canadian Grand Prix at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal off we go Hmm, it might, well, it is definitely going to rain at some point in the Grand Prix. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Of course, we do have the weather estimate set to approximate, not perfect. So it might not rain, but I think when something predicts 92% is probably pretty accurate. Dry for quali, but it is going to get wet during the course of the race, which is frustrating. It's going to rain in... It's going to rain in practice too. Ugh. I'll just double check my settings because I did try something else somewhere else. Now we're on 99 for the difficulty. Uh, again, as we were in Baku, we upped it to 99 for that Grand Prix from the Quali and uh, found it to be pretty agreeable. So we shall race at 99 here in Canada and hopefully have a decent Grand Prix. Right, I'm going to go and get my resource points or as many of them as I can get and then I'll see you in qualifying. Lap time wise, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay just for the practice programs. I just quite simply don't have any pace. Although I say I think I'm okay. Only six drivers have put a lap in. I'm about a second off Lewis, which to be fair is for where we are as a car, pretty competitive. But if they go yet further still before the end of the session, I'll be a bit screwed, I think. Valtteri Seven ten six and a half tenths faster than my session. teammate. The fun doesn't stop here though. We might be competitive in race pace. We might be competitive in race spec. We might have race pace. But we're not getting many resource points there, and that's gonna slow down our progression as a team. But it is what it is. If you're not quick enough, you're not quick enough. I'm not just gonna uh change the difficulty to uh to kind of boost my own resource points, you can actually, in the settings, adjust. You can adjust the rate at which you acquire, you accrue, acclaim and resource points. I can make give myself more resource points and give the AI more or less resource points, but I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm leaving it at all. Def I'm leaving it all at default. Oh, at least it's dry and quality. At least it's dry and quality. So hopefully. We can have a decent quality session, he says. Fingers crossed. I'm not going to improve. Not going to improve. A 109.8 in my first run. Terrible second run. And 109.9 in my third run. I think P17 is where we'll stay. Unless other, car other drivers improve in their final run, which they may well do. We might end up dropping back a little bit. The last chicane was better then. Yeah, definitely. So we end... The first qualifying session in P19. P19. Giovinazzi and Mick Schumacher both went faster than me. And really frustratingly, the Hasses are progressing really quickly. Hass are fast, man. Hass are fast. They are the fastest of the back four teams. It's tough. P19 start. P21 for Callum. We've had some... We've had some failures though, haven't we, with our upgrades. Fingers crossed, when those upgrades start coming, the car will improve. And hopefully improve quite quickly. Because I kind of need it to, really. I kind of need it to. We start P19. I can improve from there, I think. But I'm going to have to be consistent. And one thing I haven't been through quali and practice is consistent. So we'll start on a set of softs, I think. Switch to mediums, and it's probably going to rain about halfway through. So I think my I think my pit stop strategy is going to be soft, medium, inter. 
That's what I'm planning on anyway. Before I need the grid. Begin, right, so the grid is going to look as follows for the Canadian Grand Prix. Bottas puts it on pole. Well done. One minute, eight flat. Where they find that pace is beyond me. McLaren really strong here as well. Verstappen must have taken a penalty, surely. Unless I, he was there and I missed him. Esteban Ocon and Raikkonen. Raikkonen 14th. Verstappen, Verstappen 15th with a penalty. And Mick Schumacher. So we will start 19th still. Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. But Max is starting it's at the back. Max is starting P15. But because it's going to rain and because we've been traditionally, so far historically, a little bit better on our fuel. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. I am going to underfuel by... Although at Canada, at Canada does tend to be a high fuel circuit. Canada does tend to be a high fuel circuit. So I, I don't know if I want to underfuel. Oh, because it depends how much it rains. It might not rain. It do, at, at the minute, Zero, it doesn't say penalty. It, at the minute, it doesn't say penalty. You reckon 69.7 laps. Okay. I'll take your I'll take your advice. 69.7 laps. Now I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take that strategy, but I'm going to pit soft. I'm gonna start on softs. Sometimes I am too cautious, Macaulay. But it's only because I tend to get shouted at for using so many flashbacks. <laughs> Reforming the grid. Reforming the grid. Uh, tire strategy is soft, medium, medium. Soft, medium, medium, Gemini. But it is going to rain, we hope, at some point in that first medium stint. Actually, I kind of hope that it doesn't rain until the very end of the Grand Prix. Because I'm, I know I'm going to be super slow in the rain. But <sighs> we just have to hope that we're far enough down the road that it doesn't matter. Thanks for the follow, Philly. Decent start. Decent start. Both Hasses slow off the mark. I'll really, literally, as soon as... As soon as the race begins. As soon as the race begins, it's like, we're gonna... We've lost some power on the ICE. Fucking typical. Right, I'm gonna go for it here. No, it's self. Shouldn't have gone for it. I, I literally only did that because of Macaulay's comment, saying, you're too cautious. I literally only went for that move because of what you said in chat. I need to just drive my own race, I think. Sometimes you guys come in handy, sometimes it's a hindrance. That was a good move. I've still got the man on my outside. There he is, we're past Giovinazzi, we're up into P16. And Giovinazzi is going to go round me, I think. Verstappen should make light work. Verstappen should make light work of most of us. I don't know where they're going to break here, so I am going to be slightly cautious here. Okay, so we're up to P16 from P19 at the start. It's a good start. I think I'm going to be better off letting Gio go past me and trying to follow him up to the back of the others because I'm not going to keep him behind. Evening, Ryan. Thank you for the follow, Jack. And Devin Butler. Oh, sorry. I couldn't read them all quickly enough. Jack, Devin Butler, Neo and Jamie. Welcome to the channel, lads. Oh, Gio's going to go for my inside. I'm just going to let him have it, I think. Front is 3.3 seconds. But I definitely want to keep the Hasses behind me. See, I don't mind taking that chicane like that, but I'm terrified that I'm going to get floor damage by doing it continually. It's already getting overcast, look. The, the sun has already gone in. Oh, Gio got a bit of a tank slapper on there. I just kind of want to follow... G pull away from Mazepin and Schumacher. 
Because they're on the mediums, if we can. See, the sun's coming back out again now. I'll try and stick with Dio. Get out. I need to break the DRS behind to Mazepin and, and Schumacher. If we can do that... Fuck. If we can do that, then we might be okay. Thing is, though, if I pit now, I'm going to lose all the DRS advantage. And these guys are... That are, stuck, that are behind us at the minute, they're all just going to DRS train away from me. So whilst whilst an early stop in normal circumstances would probably work, an early stop where everyone else is DRS training away from me probably won't. Uh, Geo's going to break early for the chicane. Geo's pitting too! Interesting. Geo's pitting too. Hello. Giovinazzi pitting and covering my stop. We need a good stop here, please, boys. A good stop. Oh, they're changing my front wing! I didn't have any... Oh, I, what didn't... Release, release. I didn't know I had any damage! Fuck it! Up to speed now. Let's get some heat Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And they've gone on to softs again as well. They must be three stopping then. They must be three stopping. If I can just get catch up to George. Easier said than done, obviously. Now Callum is in the pits. Callum is coming in for his stop. I can't believe they changed my front wing. I'm so annoyed. So we're gonna overtake No, we're not gonna overtake our teammate again. Wow, Geo's even Callum's come up the bloody pits in front of me. So that front wing change, that rephrase unnecessary front wing change, is actually gonna cost me positions. So rather than actually gaining time on Geo, I've lost seven seconds. George is struggles right now. George is really struggling. I need to I need to get past George and try and catch up or keep up with Callum. I just need to dispatch the Williams and get past him. Excuse me, George. BRB. Okay, good work. Great pass. Catch up with Callum. Catch up with Callum. Catch up with Callum. I don't mind if George comes okay, with me. Is seconds. We've just left George. I don't know what's... George must have damage. Floor damage or something. Because there's no way he'd ordinarily be that slow. I'm sure of it. Latifi's in the pits. Hey, Solian. And Raikkonen too. Raikkonen's pit for mediums. He's going to be out the pits now, though. He's out the pits joining with Geo. Pulling away from Latifi comfortably. Russell's now pit for a set of mediums. Presumably a, a nose change as well, maybe? So has anybody else had to pit for damage? George, oh, George pit on lap one for front wing damage. George pit on lap one, that's why he is where he is. We pit for front wing damage. George did pit for, George was just there where he was on pace because he had to pit early. I'm hoping that Geo, all those, I'm hoping that all those that went soft, soft will have to pit again before the rain comes. Can you tell that Callum and I are in identical machinery? Look at the gap. Mix in the pits on his mediums. They only went 20 laps on those mediums. Okay. So we're going to take Mick. We're back up to P19, which is effectively where we started. Try again. We don't think it's going to stay dry for much longer. The rain could come at any moment. Watch out. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Literally, as I did the weather report, it started to get overcast. It's almost as if instigating the weather report call to the radio actually changed the weather. Thanks for follow H ten and H. Welcome to the channel, mate. I see rain. So I'm going to set that to enter. 
So next time we stop will be for a fresh set of Inters. And it may well be very soon. It's going to be this lap. Understood, stopping this lap. Annoyingly though, look who's in front of me. It's my bloody teammate. So I'm actually going to have to back off Callum a little bit. I'm going to have to back off Callum because he's going to go into the pits first. And now is where all of my... Oh my god. All of my race just falls apart. Because I am deathly slow in the wet here. Deathly slow. It did say it would dry up towards the end of the Grand Prix though. So I hope it dries up damn quickly. Callum is coming in for his stop. <sighs> I think I'm a little bit too close to Callum here. Thanks, lads. Go, go, go. You'll be racing on the exit. Complete. Go now. Look after these tires now. Literally, up my anus. Now we find out if I am terrible in the wet or if we have some wet weather pace. I imagine it's probably the former. Okay, I can take the final You're chicane. The gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. I can take the final chicane faster than the other drivers. It's just the the entirety of the rest of the lap. I'm not very fast with. Sorry, Tomasi. Any expletives aimed at Jeff are not aimed at you. No, you can't change fuel mix unless you're behind a safety car. New rulings this year in F1. You're only allowed to use one fuel mix for the entirety of the race. At the minute, I kind of want these conditions to continue because I am genuinely faster than those around me at the moment. Just, if I hadn't had that unnecessary nose change, I'd have been right with Jovanazzi and Eilat still and probably ahead of them and pulling away. We're nearly at the point of getting lapped as well now. You can see behind on the mini-map that they've nearly caught up to Mick Schumacher. They have already lapped Latifi. Want me to show the race director? Sure, we can show the race director. So as we stand, Lewis from Lando, from Valtteri, from Daniel. The rain looks like it's going to be getting much lighter over the next 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. There should be more grip, but don't expect a dry track. So the rain is slowing. The rain is slowing and we might get some dry weather running before the end of the race. Nikita has only stopped once because he was on the mediums and he's up to 15th and he's done really well to do that. Mick, it didn't really work for him. He went, he did stop on those mediums early, but I don't know whether maybe he pit for front wing damage. Mick Schumacher. No, he didn't, did he? He just went medium, medium and he was slow. Hmm, strange. But... That's, that's the way we stand right now. We're currently P19, comes P18, but we're closing on both of them. Thanks for following, Buck and uh, Vegans, or Thegans. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, yes, I am on controller, Buck. Under three seconds to the car in front. Being able to physically see the car in front does give you a fresh impetus to really crack on. Although I was terrible through there. And what was 2.8 seconds is now 3.2. Obviously seeing me in his mirrors has pushed Callum on as well. Now I'm going to be getting lapped soon. The gap to the car behind is 11.2 seconds. Provided they get to me at the right point, we might be able to take advantage and close in on Callum and Geo even more. We're on lap 37 of 70, so we've just passed half race distance. Yellow flag somewhere up ahead. Yellow flag up ahead. It's it's Nikita Mazepin who's out of the session. They're retiring from the race. Is it an engine blow or is it just a just a mechanic? Just a mechanic. Oh no, it is an engine blow. His his Ferrari engine's gone bang. So Mazepin is going to retire and we will gain a place. Come on, I'm going so slowly. I'm going so slowly. Overtake me! Fucking hell! How cautious did he want to be there? Go on, Lando, you too. Go, Lando! Fucking, I 
overtake me! Jesus! Blue flag, blue flag. So slow to lap you in the rain. Oh my god. Valtteri's a fucking penis. What? He's literally just driven into me here. Fucking idiot. Valtteri did try overtaking faster. Yeah, evidently so. To be fair, I probably should have taken the inside line rather than hovering on the outside. It might be... That's probably my fault for positioning myself poorly. Ah, can't catch him. Someone's... They're, they're pitting. They're pitting. The front runners behind are pitting. But what are they pitting for? That's the question. Are they putting new inters on? If they're putting fresh inters on, I'm probably still going to stay out, to be honest. It's obviously not wet, not dry weather running, so they could only surely be changing for another set of inters. Presumably they're changing for another set of inters. And indeed they are, look. Inters for inters. So some of them are, some of them are pitting again for inters. I think our tyres are probably okay for the time being. I don't know as a fresh inter is actually going to make me that much faster. Someone's coming out the pits next to me. Who's that? You're doing well out there. Keep it up. It's Daniel We're Ricardo. Ten more minutes of rain. Ten minutes. Go on, Daniel. So Ricardo's put an extra set of a fresh set of inters on. Schumacher, Mick Schumacher is doing the same. Now we can monitor Schumacher's pace on those fresh in intermediates. And if that gap starts to dramatically close, then we could contemplate switching ourselves. Okay, the gap behind is 22.3 seconds. Yes, I am absolutely, as things stand, staying out. Not even contemplating going in at the moment. Callum is, though. Callum Ilock in the pits for another set of intermediates, as is Kimmy. I'm in the pits. Well, if the rain is going to stop as soon as they say, surely staying out is the best option, right? So I think at the minute we are the only driver to have not picked for a second set of inters. It will gain us a couple of positions at the moment, but monitor that gap to Callum Eilat and see what it does. Fresh inters for everybody else didn't really do anything, did it? Our pace was fine. I wasn't sure whether fresh inters would actually give them much of a pace boost. There you go. Now's the time. Okay, the stewards are going to box now this lap. DRS. DRS is now online. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Now, is it recommending me mediums or softs? That's the question. Mediums. Blue flag, Good. Blue flag. We are actually going to be able to avoid letting those behind through. So we're going to save that time as well. Because I imagine Sainz will follow me into the pits here. So on lap 58 of 70, or technically lap 58 of 69 as we have been lapped. Grip is probably dropping due to wear, so don't be too aggressive. Blue flag conditions. Go create a gap and let the car behind through. Here we go! Oh, palms are sweaty. Okay, it's not... We've not got a maximum amount of grip yet. <laughs> go on then, Carlos. Three go. And you. And you. Go on. Thank you, Seb. A bit of a gap to the Ferrari now. With low fuel, the car is decent. With low fuel, I have no understeer issues whatsoever, which is why I'm putting so much emphasis on the weight reduction in the R&D. Because, clearly, when the car is lighter, it's better. So if I can start the race lighter, even when fully laden with fuel, then we won't have quite so many handling issues. We haven't got any points yet, no. 
This is only Grand Prix 5. This is only race 5. So we haven't got any points yet. Charles and Max. Max has recovered well from P15 to P9. Well, we won't get overtaken again by anyone else. There's a big gap back to Stroll. Yeah, the car feels like it's flying now. It's genuinely good on low fuel. And race trim. You flute to P5 at Canada. Gap to car in front is 13.4 seconds. How did you angle that? Max is going for it on Charles. They're having a bit of a humdinger in front. Who's going to come out in to on top, I wonder? They've been there before in Russia. Not Russia, in Austria for the win. They're still side by side here, these two. Still side by side. What a battle. Still side by side. Honestly, wow. There is some damage to Charles' front left wing, as you can see there. Thumbnail time, he says. There is your thumbnail. Cheeky cheese loitering in the background. How long will this continue? This is like a... Like a nine-corner battle. And still, Charles holds on. Surely Max will get him down the straight now, though. Surely. Well, he's going for it into the hairpin. The ahead is 14.4 seconds. I mean, grandstand seats. Surely Max has got it done now. Because he'll get DRS on the main straight as well. Three laps to go. 67, 68, 69. Giggity. This is our final lap. Lewis is about to come round and win the Grand Prix, and actually he's lapping, or about to lap, Callum Eilat and Giovinazzi again, so we weren't far away, we weren't far away from getting lapped twice, Our really. The car in front is 13.7 seconds. Lewis wins the Grand Prix, and we will come home in a respectable, I think, P16. I think P16's pretty respectable. I think... For France, we might up it back to 100. So we should hopefully have some upgrades. We have two France. laps of fuel remaining. We should hopefully have some upgrades for France. So I'll, I'll up the difficulty back up to um, back up to 100. Yeah, thanks, Threshpot. <laughs> Way to make a man feel old. That was your first. That was your first uh, F1. F1 2000. Oh, I wasn't born. Ah, P16. And a very... Right, I feel like I've actually been sat in the, the cockpit. I'm legit in. sweating here. Oh, strongest race. My strongest race is probably the Netherlands. As, du as Dutch Max comes up and gets dry over the day. No surprise. P15 to P8. Another, another Mercedes win. I am using the controller thresh, yes. Sublime victory here today. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? <sighs> well, I think it was clear what oh, thank you, the was today. Speed. Lewis now it sounds like an obvious thing. Did Norris hold on for P2? So he did. Lando race, gets P2 in Canada. What a result. Once again, it's the Silver Arrow. Such a great driver, spot, Lando. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Uh, I've had a foot injury. That's why I'm not using the wheel. Plus. It's like 9,000 degrees now, so there's not a chance am I going to use the wheel in these heat conditions. I'm sweaty enough just sat here using the controller, let alone actually physically driving. Not a chance, I'm afraid. I don't have any commands for my steering wheel settles. No, King. Sorry, dude. I haven't... I haven't so set the wheel up on F1 2021 yet. Affects the drivers championship. Lewis Hamilton <sighs> takes the lead of the drivers championship. Oh, Lewis is back now, in front in the drivers. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off so an especially impressive. So we up three places. Callum race. also up However, three places. Geo start finish race started. Solid, clean Nikita DNF'd unfortunately for it's him. It's time to check out the constructor standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. 
Yeah, were decent. Like that, who knows Ten points the in the driver's standings now. Checo's actually third. Max is having a dog season. Max is having a terrible season. Max has barely got any points. Yes, I, I'd say so, Dean, for a casual. Ah, oh, questions. Good. We should get our bonus then. Uh, so easy when the car handles like this. Thank you, chassis department. What's your secret? Uh, no secret. Great car and team. How do you feel the weather affected the outcome today? Uh, it certainly didn't dampen my spirits. Great. Well, that's everything. Ah. <sighs> We will get our bonus then from our second sponsor because we were able to get that. And we're dominating Nikita Mazepin now in the head-to-head. -head. Four races remaining. We have a five-point advantage. We're halfway there. He is a third of the way there. My driver acclaim is up to four. Looks like the team acclaim is going to be up to level seven as well. Oh, okay. Well, by about two pixels, we're staying at level six. We do get the £154,000 bonus from Zainetto. And uh, we both cost the team some money with damage deductions, but that's not a problem. Ah. Right. Sweaty Noid is very sweaty at the minute. Thanks for follow Conky Hall, uh, Ian and Sparky. Welcome to the channel, guys. We have a, an event to go to. So we'll quickly go to that event. Like We've been looking into our overall use of social media as a team and believe that by making our own series of videos with a variety of content could boost our following. It would require a small budget, but could be worth the funds to increase our awareness, especially with the younger fan base. Uh, I reckon so. We'll take Thanks the acclaim and that'll put us up to level seven, down. actually. We can afford to spend the, uh, the 50 grand and that'll put us up to acclaim level seven. So we have 1,200 R&D points in progress, we have two current aerodynamics parts and one uh, chassis part as well. They should pass very, very soon. So we should be able to do that one very, very soon indeed. I think it passes on the way towards the... the oh, it's actually on the 24th, which is frustrating. Right, let's see what we can do here. We've got quite a bit of a gap. We'll do chassis department, do... Uh, reaction training for Callum. Uh, we'll do a sponsor fundraiser and driver promotion. Yeah, we'll do driver promotion filming. There we go. Right, that should hopefully give us quite a bit of a boost acclaim-wise. Some extra resource points and improve our second driver as well. Please part well. The monocoque structure should pass now definitively, shouldn't us, it? Please? Our facilities are relatively functional currently. One thing that we could consider is improving the facilities to include more recreational areas and activities. Make it a home away from home. Encourage staff to spend more time here and make it feel more rewarding when they do. A remodel may be expensive, but it could significantly improve staff morale. Thanks. Sure. I know these kinds of decisions can be challenging, but I think you made the right call. A happy working staff is a productive working staff, isn't it? We have three million pounds as well, so what I'm actually going to do is spend that on fabrication here in the chassis department. So we can now fabricate two chassis components at the same time, meaning that I can now go and add on this weight reduction, even though the other one... Oh, what do you mean? To, no, I just... I just checked. Maybe I've got to advance a day. Maybe I've got to advance a day before it, before it counts. Okay. We've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. Hey. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Right. Oh, no, the fabrication thing isn't actually... That takes a little while to actually update. That's annoying. Thankfully, though, because that monocoque structure has passed, we can now do this. And that's ready by the 20... That's going to take a while, but it will be ready in three Grand Prix time. And then I'll do probably do the roll dampers. Maybe after that we could maybe do a power. We haven't done a powertrain upgrade at all, have we? Oh, we did the ignition system. They're unavailable. These are done by the supplier. So actually, Honda have been really good in upgrading the engine. But we could do the spark plugs. 40% chance of failure, though. I might save my resource points. The engine hasn't been letting us down so far. Gearbox improved materials, 98 resource points, but a 38% chance. We've got an 81% discount on that. Supplier upgrades are good, it's just general wear. I mean, for such a little cost, I may as well and just hope that it passes. 
We will change the ICU, but I'll, I'm going to use the... Do I use them for practice, or do I just... Ah, I'll just do them now. I'll just do it now. 37.51. We can maybe do with a new MGUH and MGUK as well. 35 there. Gearbox. Mm. I might need to put a new gearbox on for the next Grand Prix. Is it worth running the gearbox? 65% worn in five Grand Prix is about 12% wear. We should be okay. You start to get faults around about around about 80%. And we've got 15% to go. And we've been going at less than 15% per race. So we should be okay with the event gearbox. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like in France. But we'll find out in due course. We've got some customization things to do. I could have a look at some driver perks. We can afford to do a couple of these. Social media team, power mapping, engine wears reduced by 10%. Media coverage... Development resource point income will be boosted by 10%. I might do power mapping and development feedback, actually. Let's do that. And let's do that. Spend some of the money whilst we've got it. I think that's worthwhile. I think that's worthwhile. We are going to have to make sure we think about having enough money to replace our driver, though. We need to make sure we need to have enough money to replace our driver when the time comes, which is... Uh, on the 6th of September. So we've got a little while yet. Does it say dates for Grand Prix? It doesn't, does it? 6th of September. I'm not sure in between what races that is. You might be able to might be able to tell me in chat. But for the for the YouTube video, that's going to bring us to a close for today. Thank you very much for watching the YouTube video. Make sure you drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any further content here on the Chesnoy Gaming uh, Twitch channel or here on the Chesnoy Plays YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me down below so you can uh, see the streams uh, in their entirety if you would wish to. But for now, for YouTube, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.